Today we're going to talk about the multiband compressor called Maximus. It's a stock plugin with FL Studio. It's my go-to for compression and multiband compression. I think it's really easy to use um, and I'm going to show you how I use it today. So the purpose of a compressor is to level out and balance your audio's volume. So if you have a piece of audio that gets loud in some moments and then it's quieter in some moments, this is what a compressor is used for. So I just drew in four notes here and you'll see that they have a huge range in volume. So our goal is to balance out those volume differences using the compressor. I've got Maximus open now on the mixer and I'm going to full screen it and pay attention to this nice display that's about to come through. So this is showing you the difference in volume in these four notes. So here's the first note all the way down here. There's that second really loud note, the third note, and the fourth note, and then it starts over right there. We want to determine the threshold where we don't want the volume to exceed. So to do that, I'm going to take this point right here. I'm going to bring it down along this 45 degree line. You see this green line moving over here to the right. That's our threshold line. So right here, that's the top of that loudest note. So let's bring it down a little bit toward like right here. You'll still hear it's really loud. But right here you can see that that loud note has been reduced about three decibels or so. So we can bring down the threshold even more. Let's bring it down beyond even the second note, closer to the final note right here. And you can see the compression being applied. So quite a bit is being compressed on that loudest note and then a good amount off that third note as well. Now if we want to apply even more compression, we just straighten out this line a little bit. So the more we bring this down, the more it's going to compress. So watch this. You see how much more it's going down now? And we can keep going. So there's more compression being applied here. Let's talk about the upward compression feature in Maximus. Not only can it reduce volume beyond a certain threshold, but it can also increase volume that's underneath a particular threshold. I've loaded up a different example here. So let's put my threshold right here, right at the top note, right? And so we have like no compression occurring. Now we can take this curve and push this upward. And all this green stuff is displaying the gain that's being applied underneath the threshold. Uh, you can also move this to the left of this 45 degree line and you get a slightly different amount of gain. I prefer to use the curve. So maybe on this example use a little bit of upward. We'll compress that down a little bit. Give it a little extra compression. Let's compare it to what it was. So very clearly it's been balanced out quite a bit. I'm going to show you how to use Maximus as a multiband compressor. You see these knobs down here? The low and the high. This is how you set the range of bands. So click this bands button 
And then when you hover over low in this top left corner up here, you'll see the frequency range that you're applying. So this low is set at everything from 20 to 200 hertz. The mid is everything between this knob and this knob, so 200 and 3000 hertz. And then the high is 3000 all the way up to 20k. And you can cycle between these bands right here. So this is the low band, this is the mid band, this is the high band. I'm going to play this sound and you're going to hear a lot of different ranges and volume across the frequency spectrum. So right away I hear this big jump in the low end. So let's go to the low. And I'm going to bring down my threshold here. So now this is just compressing that low end. So you see we've applied quite a bit of compression here, maybe even too much. Now let's move on to the mids. And here, I'll just bring it down to like here. And then on the highs, we'll like compress down here. And my goal isn't to flatten out everything. You want to preserve some dynamic range, but if you feel like your sound has too much variation in volume, this is when you would use something like a multiband compressor. So we've applied quite a bit of compression across the three bands now. Maybe we can apply just a little bit of master compression, just for good measure, you know? The final two controls that I want to talk about today are the pre-gain and the post-gain. This is really simple. Uh, pre-gain is gain before the compressor and post gain is gain after the compressor. So let me show you a little bit of this. If my threshold is like right here, which there's no compression being applied, and then I push the pre-gain up, so I'm gonna get an increase of volume. So right here you see it start hitting the threshold and being compressed. I'm going to reset my pre-gain now and show you the post-gain. When I add post-gain, it's just an increase in volume. It's never going to be compressed. So you can see it going well beyond the threshold, but there's zero compression happening. So post gain is just there to give you an increase in volume after you've done some compression, because compression will reduce the volume of what you're working with. So it's like it's makeup volume. So after you've compressed something, you apply a little bit of post gain, get it you know where you want it to sit in the mix. Okay, that's going to be the end of the video. I would definitely suggest using both the downward compression and the upward compression. A balance of both will give you a really good result because sometimes if you only use one way, you can over compress. So try to find a nice delicate balance in there. Sometimes you don't need to go both ways, um, but sometimes you do. I hope that this video was helpful for you. I, I see a lot of people using FL Studio but not using Maximus and I think it's just, you know, it's pretty easy to use. It's super visual. Uh, so hopefully you guys pick it up. If you want to hear some original music, I upload my music here on YouTube, but uh, also on soundcloud.com slash retouch. Uh, but I also do 
FL Studio streams on Twitch. It's uh, twitch.tv slash retach with two underscores. Um, so come through, say what's up, and I'll see you next time.